Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode in FIFA 19. We have just six games left to go in this season and six games left in the Premier League season. Right now, we are on the cusp of pulling off the unthinkable. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I was just happy with trying to find my way into the top seven and more likely that seventh place. I thought I was going to have to battle with all of the rest of the teams in the Premier League outside the top six for that seventh place. But now, it's become so much more. I am sitting, thanks to a five game winning streak, on top of the Premier League. Think about it. Imagine if we, we completely threw away or we absolutely bottled our last five games. Let's say even we drawed all of our last five games. We would be on 49 points and we'd be sitting in seventh place right now. But instead, we have just been on a flyer, an amazing run. Let's say we lost all of our games. I mean, we'd be we'd be out of contention completely, maybe for top seven, or at least we'd be really far off. No, we're on top. We still have a game, or not a game in hand. Everyone else below us has a game in hand. So we're not really on top, but it's, it's um, I did not expect this. I have just managed to adapt to ultimate difficulty in these last couple of games. I've been able to win so many straight and I'm literally looking at maybe not winning the Premier League. I mean, that would be amazing. I'd need a lot of teams to start dropping points and I'd have to continue my amazing form. And here's the kicker. I'm playing every single one of these games as well. So I have to get the job done myself. Wherever I finish is of my own doing. No sim games to blame. No sim games to maybe help me or assist me in getting three points either. This is all down to me. Manchester United, Southampton and Brighton. They're the first three games, and the only three games we're playing in this episode. And in the final episode, we play Watford away, we play Fulham at home, and then we play Liverpool away. Depending on how well we do in those previous five games, that Liverpool away game, it could be a title decider. All I wanted to do was to try to find a way to get into Europa League. Now I think it might even be the Champions League. I don't believe it. We've advanced ahead to the game against Manchester United. And as you can see, now that all the teams have played the exact same amount of games, we've dropped from top to fourth. It's still so close at the top. And again, I don't know who's going to win the Premier League at all still. I mean, even Arsenal technically, it's, it's still possible for them. Maybe not Chelsea, but even Arsenal in fifth could still win the Premier League at this stage as well. But we're now tied on games played with Manchester United and they're two points ahead of us. If we want to go ahead of them in the table once more, try to climb the positions again and try to get a little higher up the table, we have to beat them. If we don't, they will continue to stay above us. If we drop points, that also opens up the door for Arsenal and Chelsea behind us as well. I feel like they're the only two teams at this stage that could really jump us. Manchester City, maybe, but they've had a stinker of a season by their standards. Can we keep this five game so far winning streak going? Can we extend it to six? Now, we are still without Raul Jimenez as well. He's still injured. Manchester United third, Wolverhampton Wanderers fourth. We lose today, and depending on by how much, and if Arsenal can win their game, and again, depending on how much they win, there's a possibility we could actually drop a place again if we don't pick up at least a point. We've been playing too well recently, too, too well. And I know it's Manchester United, but I still break my chances. I've got to be honest with how I've been going. The team is just, it's clicking, but you never know. This is career mode. You can be flying at one point and then out of nowhere, it'll all the struggles and it'll all just start falling apart out of nowhere. But look at how much space they're giving Adama down this right-hand side. Are you serious? We'll cross it in straight away. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. How much space have you given Adama and how much space have you given Timmy Weyer? It is the first attack of the game. And look at that crossed in, perfect weight and the scissor kick by Weyer right in the top left hand corner. It's just crossed in good enough to get over the head of Eric Bailly and the finish into the side netting to beat David De Gea. This has to be happening. It's written in the stars. I'm not throwing this away. I'm not doing it. I have to win this. This is extraordinary. It's unbelievable. The Premier League title, Champions League, any of it. I just, all of it. I cannot believe this. The Premier, I cannot believe this. Champions League, the fucking Premier League title maybe. Maybe, maybe, that's what, no, that's way over hit. I can't believe it. Brought in though, and oh my God, a little deflection. Oh, we got something on it, but De Gea saved. Alexis Sanchez, Fred. Oh, fuck, no, they've, uh, oh my God, he has blasted that at the near post. And Rui Patricio has not even tried. 
My first shot on goal was a goal. Their first shot on goal, they equalised. Can you believe it? A fucking gap opened up there, didn't it? Jesus Christ, I'm running back to track with Pogba, but I could not get in front of him. And that strike is phenomenal at the near post. Maybe questionable positioning, but I'm not really going to critique Patricio too much. Cut that off, please, Johnny. Play it back. Nice. We can go down this left-hand side. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, maybe not, because we hit it straight to fucking Lingard. That is a shit turnover, man. And Pogba might get another chance if we're not careful. Oh, what the fuck, man. Every time Pogba shoots, he scores. What's going on? Bro, I thought we cleared this. Look, right there, I thought I was smashing B. I think the defender I was controlling just kept running. Neves. Yeah, what the fuck, man? He made the tackle. He, like, the ball was there to be kicked away, and I was smashing B. He didn't do shit. And then he just runs past the ball. Pogba gets a shot. Thankfully, it wasn't, or for Manchester United, blocked by Lukaku. I don't know. That last, the first goal that they scored, fine. That last goal seems a little fucked. I don't know what's going on. He literally... Mm, Neves, you're fucking shitting me. Oh my god. I think... What did I say? At, at a certain point, the game is going to flip the switch and go back to being fucked again. And I think, it's, I think it's just done it. Ever since we scored that goal within the first two, three minutes. Look, I went to go to close him down. Fred fires... Fuck me. Un, un, unreal strike. Coming in off the post. No chance for the keeper. Three players in the way. None of them, not one of them could maybe get something on it. Pogba, picked off. Neves, go. Oh, I've got to go to this left-hand side. We might we might have got him here. Diogo Jota, surely he's not going to get caught. Surely he's not going to get caught. Shot off the fucking woodwork. Oh my god. Through the middle here. Beating him at the near post. Oh, brilliant save to Haya. We really could have scored three or four so far today. But denied by the woodwork, denied by De Gea, some brilliant stops from him so far. We have to go quick. Come on, like we did last one. Last time, anyway. Step overs. Little ball. Oh, out to the right-hand side. That is ridiculously good football. Adama, come on. Maybe a little bit of life to bring to, into us into the halftime dressing room tour. That could be a real big one. It keeps us in the game. It's only one goal now to tie things back up to get a point from this game. But really, a point is probably better for Manchester United because it keeps them ahead of us. We need the win to go past them. Manchester United will get the second half kicked off. And so far, it's been a good game. Five goals in the first half alone. Oh, I still don't know. Is he on here? That's the question. Oh, come on. At least we're keeping the ball. Dendonka. Oh, never. He's still surrounded. There is a gap over the opening up. Oh, De Gea. This, that's the third big save of the game he's made for them. Gosh, can you imagine if Anthony Martial scored a goal against me? The club that he's going to join next season. And oh my god, Pogba, that went out of bounds as he was swinging it back in. Ah, oh, put ahead of him again when we had Adama in a good spot. Picked off here though by Bolly. Oh, I don't think I can get that one to Adama and continue the attack. So I'm going to play it again over here and then to Adama. Adama can't shoot though, so we'll cross it in. And De Gea, little something on it, but he's going to get in! Oh, 3-3 in the 80th minute, and Diogo Schotts has got one! Oh, De Gea had to do what he had to do, getting a little something on it to stop the free header, but it's gone and fallen to Diogo Schotts' feet. It's 3-3, and maybe the win is still on. Oh my god. Goal number 12 in the Premier League. If he scores another one, he goes tied with Jimenez and Matinho. We could have three joint top goal scorers in the Premier League. Can you imagine it? But we need one more. Make sure we're manned nice and tight here. Clearance, it's swapped for me. And I'll tell you what, we'll just take that because that's a shocking, shocking corner. Look at the left-hand side. If they're open, not really. I'll knock it forward for him anyway. It's going to work. Diogo Jota, right-hand side. Right-hand side. It's another deep one again. Can I get it at the back post? What is that? Can he pull it off? Oh, my God. It would have been too special. The cross didn't go where I wanted it to, and that's well off target. Oh my god, they are risking it, aren't they? They're taking the risk. Lukaku in from behind, Bolly, it's no good. Pogba's been immense for them today, I've got to be honest with you. Sanchez, left-hand side, crossed in danger. He's not sticking with him. Oh, he's offside. Oh... I, I can't, I don't know what the fuck was happening there. He was running, look, I'm controlling, this is a really bad matchup anyway, Ruben Vezo. But 
He was running away. I was angling it left so that way the header would go left. Normally they track with him anyway, but it was because he was offside. I've had a fucking heart attack. You know what? I'm booting this up forward because I know I don't have any time. We'll just do it. Get it out of the way. Oh my God, surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, I tried it, tried it, tried it. Oh, God damn it. Well, we had chances. Imagine if Manchester United thought they won it in the 90th minute, Lukaku offside, and then we, with the final attack, won it. Oh, my God, that would have been, am that would have been amazing. But no, it's only a draw. Manchester United say above us in the table. We are still fourth, I think. Maybe if Arsenal won, I don't know. I know, I think we're still fourth, but we're losing, we're slipping away from that top spot. Oh dear, well, we, we well, a win there would have been huge. Let's see, imagine if we did. If we did win that game, then we would have been where Manchester United are pretty much. We, maybe, maybe Spurs would have been ahead. Depends on goal difference. Nah, we would have been third, but still though. We're in fourth, a point behind Arsenal, and Chelsea have a game left to play, but they're really far behind. I think now, we're just trying to hang on to our Champions League spot, aren't we? Really, four points away from Liverpool with five games to go. Maybe it's possible, but uh, it's going to be... I don't know. I don't know. I can't see Liverpool, Manchester United and Spurs throwing this away. Let's not forget too, by the way, that that means we, we lost our winning streak, but we are now on a nine-game undefeated run. That's m absolutely amazing. And if we can, again... Go another game undefeated, that makes it 10 double-digit games without a loss. He's re-injured himself too many times. I'm giving him one more game's worth of break, and then we'll bring him in. But I tell you what, Way is doing just as good a job anyway. So I'm not saying we won't miss him, but Way has been stepping up and doing a phenomenal job. Let's go. First away game, Southampton. This team is really toward the bottom of the table, so I can't imagine it'd be a much harder game compared to Manchester United. Southampton, not even close to the top 10. We trying to hold on to our top four spot. Arsenal are chasing us. Chelsea, maybe with, uh, I don't know, a few games to go. If they win all their games, they might even be a threat. But Southampton are playing a five at the back. And some of those names are very, uh, I'm not so sure about. Four in the midfield with Ward Prowse, Hoiberg, Oriel, Romeo, and Tep. And Gabbiadini starts up forward. That looks like a... Fucking difficult team to break down. Five at the back with a four-man midfield line. That's sheesh. In comes the cross. Oh, it's not great. Oh, well, we'll, we'll try it again. Can we whip in another cross maybe here? No, I'm going to try to keep it on the deck, actually. I'm going to try to get it across. Two. Oh, McCarthy, a big save. Lovely tackle from Bolly. Just oh, found a way to stay in front of him there. There's a gap up the middle. Shot there. Yes! Oh, come on! We had been knocking on the door all game. Big, big goal. It's Jao Martinho. He becomes our leading goal scorer in the Premier League. Oh, my God. And I think Raul Jimenez on the bench watching knows this. He's saying, Coach, get me in the game. I've got to get a goal myself. Imagine if Jao Martinho becomes the golden boot winner. Deli Alley's on like 16, 17. We have a few games left. We could do it. But we'd been, we'd been coming. We'd been coming and coming. And we just fire. We found a way. Switch it, left hand side, uh, maybe not. Neves, Dendonka has some space. Diogo shot to the strike. Oh my God, I thought it was in. Matinho nearly made it two in just a few minutes. At least the attack's still going, sort of, somewhat. Yeah, you better believe it's still going somewhat. You better believe it is. That is the most atrocious goalkeeping I have ever seen. That is fucking... I, I fucked up the shot. I genuinely fucked up the shot. I, ta I I went to go to charge up B and my thumb slipped off. So I probably pressed down B for less than half a second and I thought, oh, fuck's sake, I fucked it up. I should have... I, I assure you, I fucking... I am promising you guys right now, this is ultimate difficulty and that is what the goalkeeper just did. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. I have seen some pretty shady goalkeeper... Like, just fuck-ups in FIFA 19, but that is up there. They're going to play it around the back here. I'm trying to hold them back. Trying to get one more. Trying to live up to my name or my reputation for scoring late goals in, in half or right before half time. But I don't know if I'll have time to move the ball forward here. Turns out I... Oh, of course. As soon as I open my fucking mouth. Half time it is. 2-0. We have been all over Southampton. Manchester United was such a tough team to deal with. Every single fucking shot they took ended up in the back of the net. 
so far with Southampton, they've barely even taken a shot. They've barely gone into my own third. I've had so much of the ball. And I felt like a 2-0 lead is deserved, but that second goal is still so fucking bullshit. Gabbiadini. Here they come on the right-hand side. Ward Prowse. It's like, ta oh, fuck, I missed him. And I've taken him out. And that's probably going to be a card. Oh, that's just some cheeky. That's absolutely cheeky. That's... That's a free fucking goal. What... What the hell? I don't know what the fuck I just did there. I massively fucked up. Man, I can do some dumb shit. What the fuck happened there? I don't know what I'm doing there. I don't know why I put that much power on the pass. I, I have no idea what I have done there. That is so... That looks fucking terrible. Maybe it doesn't look as bad as the goalkeeping, the second goal that we got today. Which, by the way, is now what separates us and Southampton from the three points. I... I don't know. This game's been a bit of a joke. It's not been FIFA 19's best, has it? And it's not been my best. Diego Jota. We'll try another one. Oh my god. Good one. There you go. McCarthy stops that one. That's much better goalkeeping. That's ultimate goalkeeping. Not what we last saw. Oh, nice tackle from Jota. Nice, clean dispossession. Back to Jota. Adama is... Oh, he's going to get a chance! And he scores! Come on! Breathing space restored. And I uh, I did not think Adam was going to get the chance there either. And again, I don't think I really got my... Sh my, my finishing today has actually not been great. It's really been a bit questionable. But even though I don't really time the shot perfectly, it's somehow found a way in. Look, he's got that pace and it's a good touch to get away from his defender. And number four, whoever he is, he's just jogging. I swore he could have gotten in front. Adama just picks his spot and passes it in again. Oh, ball over the top. That's really good play, Ben Yedda. They've got a second. Oh, no. They're going to make things interesting. That was a really quick counterattack, and my defense was nowhere. Just hold on to it. Hold on to it. We'll play through Adama. Just keep possession for these next, what, two minutes? Two minutes. Come on. We've got this. We have got this. It's game over now. I'll whip it across and hope for the best. Maybe something will happen. No. Cleared away. We're well past the two minutes of stoppage time, and that is going to be a win. It should have been... So much more convincing. We shouldn't have let it go down to the last seconds like that. 3-2 was the result. We should have won by more than a goal there. That's I just completely fucked up. They got a really good counter-attack in. and uh, It's all right, though. Three points in the bag. We will hope now that maybe Arsenal have dropped points and maybe one of the teams above us has dropped points as well. But look, okay, we, we got the win that we needed, all right? Now we just have to wait for Liverpool to play their game, for Arsenal, for Chelsea to play their game. I'm now saying that, yeah, with four games left to go and Manchester City 10 points behind us, I can't believe how bad a season they've had. They are out of contention for the, I mean, at least for where we are. There's no way that we're going to finish below Man City now, surely. But I will advance now to the next and final Premier League game we play today. It's going to be against Brighton. They are a team that's really in relegation danger, you know. So they every point for them is important as well. And I think now it's time to bring Jimenez back into the starting eleven. Weah will be on the bench, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have no hesitation bringing him in if we need him. But he, oh, Jimenez, I I've got to remember that this bloke, even though Weah has been amazing for me recently, let's not forget that Raúl Jimenez is or was. Formerly my leading goal scorer in the Prem. So, we've been, not only that, he's going to want to get back his uh, his title as the highest goal scorer at the club. And still, maybe potentially get that golden boot. I mean, right now, Matinho's beating him in the race for it. And I dare say that a win here maybe won't exactly, you know, seal the deal or anything. But it's at least going to probably end any chance that Chelsea would have of finishing above us as well. Is Brighton and Hove Albion going to find itself in the Champions League next season? Or do they have something to give over these next couple of games left in the Premier League? Pascal Gross is going to be sitting in behind Florian Andone as their starting striker. Is Murray on the bench? Yes, he is. All right, interesting game. But come on, let's not take it easy against them. Let's keep it up. I want to put on again a slightly better performance than we did against Southampton. A little bit more of a clinical performance and a slightly better defensive effort as well. We're going quick here. Going very quick indeed. Adama is away. Um, going right to the touchline there. Bernardo is everywhere right now. I'll tell you what. Adama. Slip him in. Yes, I think he held his run there pretty well. Matinho getting caught though by Bernardo. My God. What a game this man's been having so far. Oh, this has to be it. Neves. Oh my God. What's happening today? 
I can't believe he's missed that. How in the fucking world? In the middle. Can I go from downtown? I think I can, you know. Oh, but Real. That's not a penalty. That's not a penalty. I thought for fucking sure. Wow, they're moving this quick now, aren't they? But that's a bad ball from his Equato. Ah, uh, seven minutes are up, yep. Man, I can't believe I have not fucking taken the lead yet. That's a real bad sign. But, uh, but uh, Brighton have come close as well. One, maybe two occasions. That's it, though. Just every now and again, you know, they, they will get a counter-attack that makes me a little concerned. Nice. Come on. One, two. No. Roll. Yeah, maybe. Matinho, can I shoot? Yeah, I can. It's blocked again. Tackle from Jotter, I think, is clean! I better believe- Oh, you better believe it's clean! You beauty! Oh, come on! Diogo Jota, I think, maybe also went tired now with Raul Jimenez. He's not the leading goal scorer. It's still Matinho, but look at this. Putting the pressure on him immediately. I thought it might have been a foul, but no. We've done it. There we go. That's the goal that I should have got in the fucking first half. Finally, we've got it now. Is Equato's now going through, and I'm taking a long time to catch him. Ball's whipped in. That's not a bad one. Bolly couldn't clear it! Oh! I don't... Oh! They scored almost immediately as soon as we did. And it's this fucking bloke with the most unpronounceable name of all goddamn time. I'm pretty confident whoever cleared the ball I wasn't controlling. I, I think it might have been Bolly that crossed it in. I think Bolly got something on it there. But I don't think I was actually controlling him. It glanced off his head and then fell to him at the back post. Fucking great finish to beat my keeper as well. Big tackle. This is almost how we got our first roll. Jimenez! Ah, oh, fuck's sake, guys. Come on, we have to come up with the ball in that situation. Neves. I'm taking it patiently here. We have an option. Back to Jimenez. To Neves. No, put behind him again. Fuck me. Some of the passing has been shit. The chance creation has been garbage. The build-up's been garbage today. And now over the top I go there again. His equator has been so dangerous all game long. He's going to keep this in. What a fucking cross in. Bolly deals with it and this time gets more on it than he did for the goal that we conceded. Let's make sure we're defending. Manning up players here. I've got a bloke controlling in a dangerous area. Patricio punches it away. Bernardo. That's a little pass slipped in. Slide tackle. Missed. Is it a foul? No, it isn't. It, no, it isn't. Little ball through again. It's just not going to get through. It never fucking does right now in this game. Is Equato going to get the ball again? Crossed in again. And the header, you can you can take that attempt on all the fucking time, mate. I, I've got to pump it forward. I don't think we're going to get the time, though. Can he win the header? Not really. It's going to be a draw. I oh, can you believe it? Any other fucking day, I feel like I'm, I'm so much better with my build-up play and my finishing. But it's... Oh, we took the lead, conceded straight away on their first of fucking tack, and that's it then. It's a valuable point for them, I, I, I'm sure, but damn it, that might have opened the door for Arsenal. I'm just going to rue an awful lot of missed chances. I don't think Arsenal have actually played yet, neither of Liverpool, neither of, like, any really one else that's in our sort of position in the table. But I will advance now to the next game we have in the Premier League, although I'm going to leave it here. We have played all the games that we were going to play in this episode. I am patiently waiting on the result of the Arsenal game. Do they jump us in the table? They've done it. They've won their game against Crystal Palace. They've gone up into fourth. And Liverpool still yet to play. Chelsea still yet to play. But I think now, Chelsea, let's think about this. With three games to go, they've technically got four games to go. They could mathematically get us, for sure. But I, I reckon that, um, no, we, we've surely got at least fifth spot in the back. What I also wouldn't mind happening either is if Liverpool choke as well. Whatever game they have to play, if they lose it, then they go tied on games played and points with Arsenal, and that maybe introduces another possibility. Maybe Liverpool finishing in fifth, and we sneak into the top four at their expense. I don't know, but it's such a tense and tight finish to the Premier League season. Right now, it looks as though if Liverpool do win, then yeah, sure, they'll still be in with a chance, and they could very well do it. But uh, it's Spurs, Manchester United... And depending on if they win their next game, Liverpool and maybe Ar maybe Arsenal. It's so tight at the top. It's brilliant. We are going to be set for a massive, awesome, awesome final episode of the first season with Wolverhampton, and we are going to we are going to fucking cross our fingers and hope to God that maybe just maybe we can find a way. Right now, you know it's out of our hands. Liverpool could win all the rest of their games. Spurs could win all the rest of their games. Arsenal could win all the rest of their games. You know. It, it, it doesn't matter. We need some of the teams above us to slip up now that we've dropped down to fifth. But that will do it for this episode, the, uh, the penultimate episode, that's right, of the first season with Wolverhampton Wanderers. The next episode will be the final episode. We've got three games left to play. 
will we get Europa League or will we get Champions League? I feel like it's European football lockdown, but what is it going to be? Until that episode, the final episode of the first season, my name is The Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.